Hi, welcome to Fifty Feet Below. Um, lately, we get a lot of questions about these braided flex hoses. Um, you might have seen posts on Facebook and on Fora that they can clog up and block the air supply. Um, we're gonna tell you in this video how to check your own hoses and to be safe. Luckily, um, scuba equipment failure is becoming more and more rare and we don't see it that often anymore. But when something happens, institutions like Dan are sure to look into it. And what happened was an experienced diver suffered an out of air situation. And he, when he got back at the surface, he checked his air tank and there was still enough air in it. So first thing they did was check the regulator, which was fine. And then the suspicion fell onto the hose. When they cut the hose open, they could see large yellow crystals inside the hose and they blocked it all the way and also a lot of crystals were inside the inlet of the second stage. Um, the outside of the hose was fine and there was no show of any damage. What they found out after more research is that because the hose heats up and it cools down, the inner layer is turned into a wax-like substance. Um, because of the chemical process called hydrolysis. So the hose heats up when it's laid on the boat in the sun and when you start breathing through it on the water, it cools down rapidly. After the initial incident, uh, more dive operators and divers um, reported the problem and it, it's more widespread than assumed. Um, the problem only seems to be with braided flex hoses, uh, so no rubber ones, and also with a particular kind of braided flex hoses, um, the ones with polyester lining in them. Hoses with a polyether lining does, um, do not seem affected, so they are deemed safe to use. And also, most of the problems occur in tropical regions where the hose gets warm enough to start the process of hydrolysis. There are actually a few things you can do to avoid any problems with these hoses. Uh, first one is, like any other hose, the wear and tear on flex hoses is the same. They keep looking pristine, but on the inside they do damage. And most of the problems were found with hoses which were older than five years. And some manufacturers now advise to change out your flex hoses after five years. When you're gonna buy a hose, always be sure to know what lining is inside the hose. If you're in doubt, don't buy it. And the one you need is polyether because this doesn't seem to be affected. Number three is when you find any indication that your regulator is breathing more difficult, um, make sure to let it be checked. Um, if your regulator seems to be fine, suspect the hose. Um, it can be an indication that something's wrong with the hose. Next up, test your own hose. Um, what you can do is just go by it inch for inch and feel the resistance. If there's a difference in between one place and another, this can be an indication that something is wrong with your hose. Also what you can do is check the inlet of your second stage. If you detach it from the hose, uh, you can look into it and if you see any crystals, this is also an indication that something's wrong with the hose. If you have a faulty hose or you know someone who has a faulty hose, please let us know in the comments. Also Dan is still looking for people who have a faulty hose because they want to know how widespread the problem is. Um, we have linked the email address below where you can leave your images. We have linked some safe hoses down in the description. Um, those are MyFlex hoses. They've switched from polyester to polyether in 2008 and they are safe to use. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we post new videos every week. And we also got a brand new website at 50feetbelow.com and you can find us on social media. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Did you know that the braided outside of the hose is actually pure for appearances? It doesn't add anything to the hose. They actually tried selling the hose without it and nobody would buy them. So the braided outside is purely aesthetic. Fun fact of the day.